my own statement, which I've just put together this afternoon. I think there's some, something must be wrong with uh, the minister of FCT, he's on Wiki. He's very arrogant and he believes that everybody must listen to him. Who is he? When was he? When did he become uh, what he is now today? He, was go he governed River State for eight years, solid years, as a dictator, as an emperor. Nobody, nobody talked to him. Nobody directed him. Nobody interfered with his government. He treated the river people as if they were just people who should listen to him and nothing more. The same week, he made himself an APC man and he said he's still in PDP. What sort of person he is? We are all watching to see what will be the end of the road for this man's political career. When he, he supported the present governor from the Riverine area, everybody thanked him because the mainland had ruled this river state for 24 years, starting with uh, Peter, uh, Dr. Peter Audley, then uh, Rodney Ameji, then himself. In this case, he chose the man the present governor who worked with him as his accountant general for, a, for eight years. Now he wanted to, now to control him, the, uh, control him from Abuja. It won't work. Leave the man to, to run his government. And I'm calling on River State people to stand by their government. River State is one of the oldest states in this country. And I know everything about River State. Yes, a week is now the first to rule River State. Today, he has not even respect for those who put him in that office. When he was Minister of State in Education, pre former President uh, Jonathan and his wife sued by him. We said, no, Wike cannot be governor. He hasn't got the temperament of being governor. And more so, the, the, the upland have got enough. They refuse. Today, he does not respect them. He does not respect them. He believes a small God. I'm not surprised. He was a local government chairman. And today, he is now minister of FCT the second man from the South to, to occupy that office. So I'm calling on Mr. President to call him to order and leave peace to reign under the present governor in River State. We will not accept wicked dictation. He should mind himself Take care of himself. He's becoming too dictatorial, too controversial. He's not the first person to be minister. Some of us have been ministers before. He was minister of state, nominated by Rotmi Amechi under um, uh, Jonathan. And he was in education. He parades himself that he was Minister of Education when I was Minister of Education. He wasn't Minister of Education. He was Minister of State. He should, he should, he should call himself. to call himself to order and Mr. President should call him to order. Enough is enough. I understand what he wants to do. Remove the present governor now that he refused to be controlled by him. Persuade the gov the, uh, force the governor, uh, the deputy governor, the professor, the lady, to resign, and he will now put the speaker of the house, of uh, uh, River State House of Assembly, an equally man, as the governor. First of all, as acting, then as in the usual way, because he thought he thinks money can buy everything. 
He will not use his money to install him to contest election. It won't happen if peace is to reign in this in River State and in this country. So Mr. President should act fast.